Hey, we're standing outside a house flip that we are in progress repairing, as you can see. I um, have 17 flips going right now, so it's taking us a while to get to this one, but finally getting closer to it. Um, so hopefully we'll have it done here soon. We'll talk about what we're doing. And we also have one across the street right there that's for sale. So hopefully that one sells soon too. I think we've definitely seen a slight slowdown in the market, but that could be for a number of reasons from this time of year where it's August and everybody's going back to school right now. And that always tends to be a slow time of year to just the market in general, maybe finally slowing down. On this one, you can see we're in the process of putting new siding on. It had vinyl siding that we were hoping to save, but we could not. When we put in the new windows, it just basically crumbled and broke. So we do have to side it. That's the Home Depot. Um, Hardy board siding, very affordable, especially if you have a managed pro account. Siding is one of the things they mark up the most. So we get it for, I have to check. I feel like it's almost a 50% discount with our managed pro account off of retail. But this one, we put new windows in, did a little bit of texturing, paint, have to do a new kitchen, <laughs> and we'll be refinishing this hardwood floors as well. Um, have not added up all the costs we'll have into it yet, but we'll be spending, boy, at least 30,000 on the rehab, maybe a little more now. Um, bought it for 150, and oh, I don't have my lights on like I normally do. We're hoping it's gonna be worth right around 225, maybe 230 when we're done. And then we'll have another 20,000 in carrying costs, financing costs, selling costs, as well. So it'll be an okay deal, not a home run, but um, would have been nicer if we could have kept the siding. We could not. And this one had the crazy paint colored rooms. It had like purple, pink, orange. So I'll link to the before video so you can see those, but it was pretty nuts. And I do have a playlist as well. Oh, another light. It's not, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> um, the before and after house flipping playlist on my channel here shows all of our flips and when I get around to it, I put them in order so they're right next to each other so you can see the before and afters. And then we also have the complete before and after house flip playlist that shows the videos I do where we have before, after, together, all the numbers, all that stuff. So make sure you check those out. So our bathroom, we had to redo most of it as well. Um, for contractors, we have our employees, hourly guys work on this, which saves us so much money over using um, actual contractors that we pay. Saves us a ton. Oh, there's the rooster. <laughs> yes, we are in town and there's a rooster. Um, I'll show you out back. See, there he is over there somewhere. And these sheds, I just realized, there's the back of the house, um, are decent. Like, I never went in these sheds before, before we bought it, when we bought it. But like I said, we have one hourly guy inside working on stuff. And then we've got our other guys um, working on the outside, the siding right now. And then they'll do some landscaping stuff as well when we get closer. But this shed looks pretty junky from the outside. And then you get inside, and yeah, there's some holes. But it's got sheetrock and power. So, like, oh wow, this is way nicer inside than we thought. And um, mold, so our one contractor thought this was a grow room because of the mold. Um, no real other reason. I mean, there could have been water in here, who knows from what, but with the, having the power out here and stuff, it could have very easily been a grow room, which is legal in Colorado. So, that's the property. Uh, we'll get going on it here soon. Hopefully, it is finished the next few weeks and we can get on to fixing up some of our other ones and get moving from there. We don't have any under contract to buy, so I'm trying to get a bunch of them finished up here. At the moment, like I said, we have 17. We have five for sale right now, another five coming up for sale soon. And the market might be slowing down so I'm not in a huge rush to start buying a ton of properties right now. 
unless they're just smoking deals. So we've made some offers, um, looked at some properties, but nothing's gotten accepted. Other people are paying a little more than we are willing to right now. And I'm okay with that for the moment, especially since we have those two big commercial deals that we're working on too, which will take a bunch of time and resources. So it's not like we're not doing stuff, but we might be ramping down doing quite as many flips. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the videos and get a lot out of them. This is Mark Ferguson with investformore.com. So be sure to check out the website, have a list of all our flips on there. It also has the before and after pictures, tons of um, great info on there and numbers as well. And then we're also still having our book sale. So Amazon, uh, six of my books are $2.99 for Kindle and the paperbacks are cheaper today. And then we're raising prices of the book on negotiating real estate. I can't have a sale on that because Bigger Pockets publishes it. So sorry about that. All right, we'll talk again soon.